Hello and welcome to this Cyber Squad gaming video. Today we're going to be looking at Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ubisoft Forward 30 minutes of gameplay and giving our reaction. So with me I have my guest, my co-founder of Cyber Squad Gaming, Thomas, and we're going to be trying to put our thoughts to what we saw from this awesome gameplay. Man, this already looks brutal. Yeah. This looks a lot more brutal than the uh, last Assassin's Creed, right? Well, some of the executions yeah look pretty killer. Yeah, it looks bloody as hell though. Like they've just kind of thrown blood out for no reason. Well, it's the well, it's almost like it's uh, it's almost like it's a. Uh, Visceral experience based on what you expect from Vikings versus a more mythical experience is what you're expecting from, um, let's call it from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. I know, I'm kind of wondering what they're going to do with the mythical stuff, considering they've already talked about Odin, for example. I'm really interested to see how, how these sieges work. Right, like, are we going to be dealing so with, exactly is Ruid and like, why kill 20 guys and then you get to break the next wall, or whether or not you get any real statistic that allows you to sort of, like, or process that allows you to get through, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm going to guess it's a process. I'm going to say it's a step one to do this. When you do that, some ram moves up to the next inner keep or something. Yeah, I, I'm getting this, like, clear out this courtyard and, or get to this area, it might be the way to do it. does already. Like, that's, that's, that's normally how these mini-mission things go, you don't just progress forcefully, you have to, like, clear this section of soldiers, then the objective move up. It's interesting looking at how big these courtyards are, though, because I, I would have thought, like, in the, you know, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th century in England, those areas wouldn't have been that big. They've used it to try and have these big battles, but there's no way there was gates that big. They were much tighter experiences, you know, like, funneling through. Man, that's brutal. <laughs> oh, she's got the hidden blade at this point, wherever part they're showing. Oswald, he lives. Did you see during the combat that they were firing at weak points to sort of like arrow to the knee, aka Skyrim? Donk. Arrow to the knee. I'm gonna slap you, bitch. <laughs> slap. And finally, it's revealed that our our elderman, our ally Oswald, is still alive, and Ruid has. When are they gonna get fur graphics right, huh? Yeah, actually, not even noticed. It's not even said that. All of a sudden, it's become very jarringly noticeable. The hair looks good. Just when are you gonna get the wolf graphics just right? I don't know. Are we assuming this is also like? I mean, I have to think this is either PS5 or Xbox One X, or you know, whatever it's called, Xbox Series X. I can't help but think that the port to the Xbox Series X is gonna be like the particle density went up 200%. Look at this pretty fire on this lamp. <laughs> More than. Well, the texture antistropic filtering and anti-aliasing went up or something, you know. It would be like shadows render a further distance, people render further, items render further. Tend to always have a to support a 360 degree approach in these things. So I tell you what, though, a bit more stealthy and gotten. I don't know if I like the fact that that boss takes so many hits. Like I was about I, to say, I, I was just thinking this wolf is a freaking bullet sponge. I, I always thought Assassin's Creed was about power, precision, you know. But I do, I just wonder if he's just got a little bit too much health, you know. Well, this is why I did uh, an assassination. Assassin's build in Odyssey, it allowed me to like, you know, crit, kill big tanky people, or one-shot animals. Oh uh, yeah, I, I remember doing that, like, the ability to just transport between all the different ones. He's getting fucked up. Oh, look at that, he's got the Sparta kick still. Oh wow, he took a hell of a lot of damage there. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how I feel about a kick that has sent someone about 40 feet. He's an assassin, remember. <laughs> But look, you see, see how the, they highlight parts of the body? I wonder if that's going to give you higher crits or just stumble them. If that makes I don't sense. know. I, I always turned off the numbers when I played Odyssey and, uh, and the other one, Origins. Yeah, I, I turned the immersion up. But I love the fact that I could one-shot people. That was important I, to me. I, I don't like this. 
I don't like how you just finished beating this guy into a wall and then it generally comes to a scene with him just on his knee in the middle of nowhere. You know what yeah, I mean? But I think it's trying to add into the decision, right? It's like, do you leave him alive? Oh, do you no, kill no. him? Do you, do you, how does that affect the world, etc.? I think that's what they're trying to go for. Like, almost like a Witcher 3 kind of, your decisions have consequences. Oh no, I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about how, like, you know, one second you're punching him in the face in a wall, and within, like, a split second he's just on his knees sitting somewhere. It makes more sense that, obviously, the cutscene should have him, like, crawl towards the center or, like, dodge you back into the center, setting up for it or something. Yeah, that makes sense. So I just said it's a bit jarring, that's all. But it's, the same, it's been the same in the other ones too, they always just suddenly cut and have you like, you know, on top of him, check to him, about killing him. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I, I do love the color palette. It, it, it reminds me very much of like, misty old England, I guess, right? The idea that a lot of browns, greys... Hey, look, it's even raining. So here what we're seeing is Eivor going around the countryside and raising what we call a third, which is the men and the women of the territory who come up and fight in the name of a king. So here Eivor is going around and trying to convince people to fight in the name of Oswald to finally take down the oppressor that is Ruid. Defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a last cause? Yeah, yeah so I think it's really one of these strange like things where I'm like, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, the leadership that Xbox Series X launch title, right? But name, I'm also looking at it and going, this doesn't look that much different to the last Assassin's Creed, which is interesting because that puts it, normally they have two and a change, two and a change, but this is the third one. He could add to our cause, but first we sort of need to do him a favor, is that right? Yeah, so um, obviously these people have been run down by Ruid and uh, the, the impact he's had on the territory, so I think a lot of these people have sort of lost hope, and so you need to show them that there is hope. Are you going to play this one as a woman as well? Like you played the last one? I'd say so. I got the I said before, it just gives it something different. I'm so used to playing male characters in games at the moment, it just gives it something fresh. Plus, sometimes the story is written for it. I thought Odyssey's story um, was more towards Alessandra. Yeah, I think they played it in a way that you could go both. Oh, wow. Just launch that dude. He's like, he, it's like, why did I put these explosive barrels next to me? Cool, what's that? You can highlight nearby enemies' quests, mysteries, and chess or it was with the Odin's insight. That's a bit like, uh... Eagle Vision, I guess. Oh my god, you see that double axe? Jesus. Just like, have access to flop, flop, pull, pull. Ability, so again, the improvements that we've done to the fight can I have my axes back, please? Um, that guy runs off with two axes in him. There. I need those for my next special. Like range combat abilities in there as well. Um, so really, again, like depending on what your play style yeah, is. Yeah, I'm not sure. Loadout, it's just part of me that sits there. Like, I'm gonna love this game. I know I am, but I just wish the courtyards were a little smaller. You know, like. Not everything's an epic battle. Oh, there you go. There's your vision that you're talking about. I just saw this giant pulse go out. What exactly was that? So that is actually this is what we call the Odin site. The Odin site is basically our interpretation of the, um, the evil Ooh, boss fight. from previous games. So we thought it was good to sort of bring that back. It's basically oh, that didn't hurt him all that much. He perceives the world. When player uses that, you can. It'll highlight basically interactive objects, like things that will bring Jesus. her advantage. So, well, that looked like arrows, a finishing move, didn't it? Because like, he took his weapons off him and used his weapons so against really him. Like a good way of sort of understanding yeah. the world and showing so this must be, like, this must be like the, when you go, you know, when you go around the world and you kind of like get all the extra loot. Yeah, I mean, speaking of things we can touch, we just... I wonder, awesome did you see, weapon. like, Something when he grabbed that, he didn't get a lot of loot, but I guess it's an early build, uh, right? Where we have fewer weapons in the game, but you can invest in them more. So oh, that's cool. Weapon. And so depending what your preferred... Oh, you see the site, it shows you the key to the thing type, inside and got the key from the other building. Gonna, Did you see that? I'm gonna yeah, yeah. With this weapon what I'm trying to think of at the moment is, um, you know, I'm more recently completed out of CN Origin, so I've got a bit more fresher eye on what's happening. So I'm trying to see if there's any, if it looks like it feels different. We have these spread out throughout the world. So again, to promote exploration and discovery, as you travel through the world... And you Wait, so there are only two trees now? You can find these it looks like that was just a part of the tree. It looks like this build just didn't show you the full tree, I'm guessing, Thomas. Loadout, then go into the different locations with the different yeah, the I'm game. pretty sure I saw earlier they still had the three range yeah. stealth warrior. Oh, cool, you now... Now you've recaptured it, you get to blow the horn. Anyone want to tell me what, what animal that came off of? 
<laughs> like, oh, look at it. The rightful king of East Anglia Wait. has spared your life today, and so it will be. Oh man, he doesn't seem happy to be alive, does he? Ah, oh, beautiful Our HDR screen, uh, sun's rays there coming through. Thank you. Eivor decided to let him live. You already decided Billy which weapons you're going to use when you play this. I kind of feel like I want a double, I want a double wield, like, sort of, uh, Roman-styled length swords. I don't know. It's because, like, well, one thing I hope they bring back, they probably won't, is you can't fight with the hidden blades anymore. I used to love fighting with the hidden blades. Do you remember Assassin's Creed 2, where you would sit there with the hidden blades and you would just parry everybody and be like, what exactly is the relationship like dead? Yeah, it was, it, was the, it was an instant kill, but the, the hardest to parry. Yeah, but it was brilliant because you just sat there going, oh, I just, I just spun around him and just slid his throat. Didn't even know it was coming. He's a dead man. Um, yeah, or on the flip side, we've not seen it so far with the combat, but they don't seem to be using the hidden blade that much in combos. So, I heard that there is stealth here, like they have brought back stealth, so I wonder if the hidden blade really just focuses on those stealth portions rather than generally on everything else. Eivor comes in here, meets Oswald, the problems he had with Ruid are sort of put to light, and going through the arc, you basically help him deal with Ruid. And, and aligning basically it's a really dark game huh Saxons compared to odyssey and um territory. origins which are really bright so this really feels monotone in color doesn't it well down Ruid. i think it will change i think it will i think it will try to go more of like a fantasy still to be honest i know we chat you said already that it seems darker and less fantasy but i think they're gonna have a lot more varied environments than just like Bright, colorful, so and mountainous. There'll be swamps probably, and, and then you best believe if you let me I want areas and open fields. Yeah, these, you know, and each one will have its own are, color um, palette probably. Some, some of my I have a feeling that it's going to go darker. I think it's going to go pagan. I think it's going to go. So sort of rewards again. You know, be cool old gods. Like, it's, a, it's a chance for us also. Well, there was another trailer that came out that showed quite before. pagan stuff. So I wonder if it is going to go more, more pagan. Like politics and warfare, and this shows a slightly more human nature to her. Uh, so it permit us to explore that character a little bit more. Do you know what's interesting though? Like I remember. Do you remember when The Witcher Three came out? And I know this is Assassin's Creed, so but do you remember when The Witcher Three like came out and we saw sort of said to ourselves, The Witcher Three was this amazing world that had so much detail and how it looked and going through Novigrad and all, and, you know, all these towns and stuff. This almost looks more detailed and more, you know, Tessellation in the rocks, more... It's surprising how far even a mainstream game has come. Does that make sense? Rivers of yeah. England, you would see a cat basically walking like I, I watched I played some Witcher 3 recently and I was like this is really good still but this like you know, there is others out there now that have kind of gone past it here now can you talk a little bit about how that works and functions in Valhalla do you know what I'm hoping for next gen but is this is this a fast travel system through the water or is it just showing a cinematic view of images that we all have I think he's just showing a cinematic view I think they're launching a raid maybe this this awesome do you know what I hope for next gen? No more patchy grass, just constant grass. Uh, well, from what we can see in the background, doesn't seem to be that way yet. <laughs> no. Unless they land and we have a look. This looks like a travel system to me. It looks like he's just going up to the river. Oh, they're at the bottom, follow river. Yeah. So you don't have to... Uh, Travel yourself now. You can just Play kind of sit on all the pilot. Let's go. Allowed for songs and things like that to be sung on ships. Will Valhalla have a? Oh man, that's really cool. They bring yeah, up and so down the mask, right, to go under the bridge. The, the crew of your ship to become like your your home away from. So did you hear him talking? So I mean, they're still doing the Odyssey thing with the singing and stuff. But did you hear him say like you could just disembark uh, anywhere so you want on the river? So I wonder how much water there is, and if you don't use a boat and you use a horse, how much you'll have to like ride around looking for bridges. Yeah, there'll be a weird mix there. I'm sure they'll probably still have the system of teleporting your boat to whatever dock you're at. Mm. He said they're about queuing up stories from the from the group, so that's kind of cool. What exactly are we looking at? We had this on, on previous assassins where oh. you would like ride on on your horse and you could pull out, have the road the, the horse Ah, you're right, Thomas. See, he's now got like a ship travel system. Put up your sails, 
it's cruise control for the ship. So you can pull back, take in the scenery, listen to some songs or some stories, and just take it all in. I oh, wait. If... So is that like you put it on auto travel, but then you also tell it to go so, you know, at distance, then you don't songs, have to even pay attention to steering and just kind of watch? Exactly Isn't that like when we in Odyssey really was right? like you put a wire yeah, so or put a marker on, on the map, then you held wire, and then it tried to find the best path to that location, right? They would like to yeah, with horses, yes. And, and sort of poetry where insults would be thrown back and forth between each other the idea was to try and have a good insult um, but I, didn't but you hear i heard this was going to be shorter and i've also heard recently that it's not going to have as many side quests so as the other ones which i'm actually glad about because i think if all your quests matter it kind of feels it's more like you're doing the experience odyssey was a big game i mean by the end of finishing it all the dlc but not even doing all the side quests just like the story and a lot of like general quests and unlocking areas i still had over 100 hours that game so yeah i had 85 or 90 in it and that was with, and i didn't even play the second expansion yet so yeah and i was i was done with it though after that it was like once i finished the story dlc i was just like yeah i'm cool did you, did you see there he's got the ability they bring in even more options to the talk and putting timers on it and stuff so Interesting. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna play a, a man this Ooh. time in this game. I think. I think the male Viking might work a little. Seems to be the main character versus Odyssey being the woman. Yeah. I was gonna say though that um I'm I'm recognizing some of these animations from Odyssey. Also, her mouth didn't move there. <laughs> well, it's a work in progress, right? Uh, I know, I know, I know. But then I'm seeing the animations from Odyssey, and it's like, oh no. Don't but don't you think, like, in all honesty, they've probably got thousands of mo-caption or hand-animated animations that they, they don't really upgrade. They just pull through, pull through, pull through. Yeah, that's it. Oh, man, are we going fishing? So we gave Eivor a fishing line, so you can actually throw out a line and, and go catch some fish. Yeah, it's a little brighter here, a little less murky, so maybe the time of day shift. Uh, to play into our new health loop where the player will lose health in, in the world and it doesn't automatically generate regenerate like we would have in the past so you actually have to go out and get some some supplies so you'll find mushrooms uh and some food that you can gather but here like oh you're hearing that thomas also catch some fish yeah i thought they were gonna do that to regain some health if we also i think a lot of games are starting to adopt in, the whole in certain quests so food systems back in as a new level of immersion ever since red dead i think a few more have done it a bit more kcd in. does it too yeah the survival system oh look an english eel the interesting part of that is going to be so is, is it a gimmick where it's like annoying to go get food because i have to get a little bit more health or whether or not you're going to find a lot of it in the world naturally or well, how it's that, going to balance. that's why i liked it in kcd because it wasn't as simple as like there was basic stuff like you can find a fire pot and just eat beans from it and help but other stuff was you know as you catching stuff like going out and actually hunting animals, some, skinning them, then you can sell the skin, then go and cook them over a fire, then eat them. Your stuff. So it was a bit more than the gimmick and made it like so a fun mechanic to, to go and do. That, like, the Food also the got world, bad if you didn't sort of cure it and stuff. Some, some quests, some, some yeah, some yeah. no, I understand. Sort of dress up these moments and these look like the pagan stuff. See, look at the look at the skulls, the old ruins, the old druids, Stonehenge stuff. Yeah, and it's really what we were trying to do with these events is to is to give another dimension to Eivor, other than just you know the pure, raw Viking or the uh, politician. Look, ghost bunnies. I've always that. wanted we'll ghost bunnies. If you're always telling that, that that version of the character. So it, oh, look! Now really there's a kid out here living out here with his ghost Eivor, bunnies. Uh, what motivates her? Uh oh, twigs in the hair. That's a typical pagan sign. Of, yeah, I, I got a feeling uh, it's gonna go politics. pagan. I mean, I, I feel like we're going to be entering a world here where Christianity is going against paganism, right? And, and I guess, you know, Odin and Loki and all those gods from the Vikings are more Norse pagans, right? They're considered pagan, right? So I feel like we're going to be involved in a lot of that. Like, we're chosen by Odin, we're chosen by Loki. Who's playing tricks on us? basically mm. exploit the people that are there to make offerings. It was kind of nice to see that Eivor wasn't really necessarily upset at them for stealing, and, you know, after you talk to them, you have the choice of helping them. You can, you know, give them food, give them some money, um, or, you she needs know, a shower. say, hey, good luck, <laughs> on your way. <laughs> the money, dude, oh, there's a lake over there. Yeah, can I throw you in the lake? You smell bad and look like you need a cleanup. 
no, give a lot of this agency into players' hands so that they can sort of shape a voice. I wonder how much... I know we're um, focusing a lot here in, the, in England, but I heard you start in Norway, right? So I wonder how much time you spend there at the start. Maybe that's a tutorial, first 20, 30 minutes. I, no, I think it'll be... Um, in fact, to be honest, probably like Odyssey. Remember the first Sunday run before you got the boat and left? It was like a good like hour or two mm. so gameplay. You'll probably meet certain key characters that stay throughout the story, all that type of stuff. Do it through odd jobs and stuff before deciding. Maybe even do a fight that forces you to leave. How the hell does the little kid have an American accent? <laughs> We're in England and he's a, and he's a Norse child. I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, there's not oh, enough kids in the UK so for you to go get a voice actor? Uh, yeah, they've, they've brought back the flying stuff and scrolls you need to collect as a collectible. Which game was that in? That was that was in Black Flags, right? It was Black Flag, yeah. It, well, I think it was in previous games too, but it was Black Flag. I think it was the one that was recent to memory. <laughs> that, I'm not so sure. Tattoo Eivor? Yes. I'm not like sure I enjoyed that part of Black Flag. I, ne I, I never did. <laughs> uh, because they just, uh, unless they change, but they disappear if you don't catch them in time, then you have to leave and come back, which is just a pain. Yeah, weren't they also part of, like, Assassin's Creed 3 or 2 or something? I feel like Black Flag wasn't the first one to have it. I, I just don't remember them in Origins or Odyssey. No, they weren't. It's a collector's thing, though. You collect all of them, you get something from them. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm a hundred... I'm, I'm a hundred percenter, so I end up in trouble. So I went around the back, and you know, that's a huge ass bow. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm pretty sure when you when you put when you put when you put, it's, when you put that bow on his back or on her back, did that just get smaller? To make you feel smarter, so we. I think it's just back to start its size. Oh wow, it felt huge. So you're getting leather and stuff upgrades again. I think you just got some. No, is he dead? It's not. It's, not given it's definitely not. He's definitely not alive. So it'll challenge you on your What's up with his hand? Skills, uh, not laying on the floor. Logic, just trying to find like he's frozen. Ah, so we uh, see, we collected uh, food. He looks, see that? He looks a bit traumatic. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Had a wild night. Like with a better looks like pestilence and all that. But dead animals. He's dead, right? And I think you walked through a bush there. She walked through a bush and then collect something. See, doesn't this look painful? Pagan to you, like expecting some guy to come out with horns. Oh, there you go. See, delicious. Yeah, I mean, speaking about Ouch. exploration, that does not look like a funny. I was just wandering. And but I'm just sitting here going like, I just watched the cyberpunk world. reveal. I know yeah, I'm watching so Assassin's Creed, and I love Assassin's Creed. But we, we have, this doesn't uh, feel next gen, -y, world. does it? So as Eivor explores, uh, well, like Black, Black Flags, Flags like Black Flags, like Black Flags when it came to Xbox 360, when it came out for the Xbox One, it felt like a big jump. For, but I wonder if we're not seeing um, Series X gameplay. No, we're seeing. All this. It, it, well, you think you'd be watching the PC on. build, right? Um, so this, this is one of the moments. Um, yeah. It permits us to go into a slightly more mystical realm and play with a boss fight that has. And see if this boss fight is the same as like. And, and basically have this awesome boss fight in the middle. I'm just gonna of twirl this thing at you. And you're gonna die. Yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> so, the abilities that you can see so that's kind of cool because they've used drugs like, to kind of mean that she's hallucinating. I was just trying to well, see there, how there is there's the, the hallucinating and then there's also the typical Assassin's Creed of this sort of pagan has been like um, sort of infused with the power uh, of something from Eden or something. Um, and so that, that's yeah, I know. I, I feel like the Assassin's Creed's moved away anything, from anything, Eden, anything, anything gold in the way things happen, that's how I always think. So when she did the attack and dashed, it was gold. Which just makes me think of all the special items. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to look at how much damage she's doing to sort of get an idea if these boss fights feel like spongy. And I, I, I'm not thinking this looks too spongy. It kind of looks like a good balance, doesn't it? Oh wow, she took a lot of health there. Oh, she just popped a heal. Did you see she sort of just quickly ate something like to get her health back, and then that number on the left went from three to two? Mm. So that looks like. It looks like once you build that up, you might leave it for a while. So we just saw here that Regan Ooh, belongs to purple loot. called the Daughters of Lyria. Yeah, that's correct. By finding the other daughters, you'll get a little bit more backstory on who they are. So we don't want to spoil that too much. But it creates like a 
a sort of greater story that is not that's like the assassin's creed order or the order right where you kind of like go after all the the leaders of this world and actually plays into history Mm. i'm I'm just trying to wonder how much is going to be reskinned you know i think it's time for something a little bit more relaxing and calming now yeah, yeah. So here it's but, all about I mean, but then it was a two-year dev cycle versus one, so, so unless the game just takes that much longer to make because of the new systems they're doing. Well, I think there's a lot of raiding, right, and a lot of other stuff. See, this is, uh, this is like the lining up the Celestial stuff in Origins, right, that came out for Odyssey that disappeared. Stack on one on top of another using physics, and I mean, yeah, the, the ultimate goal is to try and get the highest pile of rocks, but really it's about taking in the sights, um, relaxing, taking a step I've back. I've always wanted to stack virtual rocks. Something. Together we stack stone Guys, let's show you this new feature we got. Rock stacking. Yes. Yep. Rock stacking for experts. Oh, I'm probably... Oh, let's just cut the video and show that we can do it. time as you want these things, making them as high as you want, as weird as you want. I'm sure, like, a lot of these stuff will end up on the internet, like people comparing structures. And the cool thing is okay, why am I stacking it, stones here? Because I want to. It's relaxing, taking the there. sights. So that's yours, right? And, until the moment where you come back and you want to build a new one. It's, it's sort of cool that we were able to, to give that... Oh, yeah, to get to a certain height. Validate it. Could you imagine video. spending 20 minutes going, Why won't you stack? Why won't you goddamn stack? <laughs> yeah. I need a guide for rock stacking. Yeah, so oh this, man, also was getting married. It's all been building up to. Someone brought the piggies. The moment you get into the a lot, lot of piggies. Sort of like a lot of piggies. He's trying to uh, get married with his Dane lady, and so as you go through the arc, um, that's sort of like the she got a badass thread. scar, huh? Really, it's about Ruid creating turmoil in the I would have said I came to feast. Oswald sort of um, get above that and and show that he's a good leader and so you finally after going through all of that arc uh finally get these two together so it looks like if you had killed him maybe we would be seeing a ceremony big big difference to the to the game activities and fun times that comes like origins decisions never felt really like they mattered does that make sense like i didn't feel like i know at the end you could have three or four different endings yeah, but we really they were all basically play one cutscene, three different ways. Is he marrying one of the Vikings? Being a Viking is not only about being a raider or a warrior. I mean, there's I guess revelry, so. there's feasting, there's partying that goes, and like if if someone knows how to party, it's a Viking. And so here, this is. Can you should drink faster than your opponent. Show, show what a oh, man. Sort of Viking gathering is, and what's cool here is it's a it's a good alliance of. Norse culture with Saxon culture, sort of smashing those. She, she, she's together, hammered. She's um, wasted. She's gonna make just, bad decisions. Yeah, she's gonna kill somebody. Like just a drunk archery. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, yeah. So like, anything can happen in a in a Viking event. All right. I understand the blurred vision, but she cannot put her arrows in the bow that quick. Hammered, right? It's probably got a perk. <laughs> it's got a perk. Yeah. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all! My king! He... He's been murdered. This is the guy we so didn't kill earlier? See, the decision I made to spare Ruid came back to bite us. Yep, that, that's the decision you made. Um, we call them sheep fuckers. Um, so, uh, as we said before, all of your decisions have consequences, and this is a big one. I challenge you. I accept. Oh man, this isn't gonna end well for the little dude. You're basically presented right? with the option to sort of step in for Oswald, Oswald fight the fight for him, or let him go and fight his own fight. But we're hammered drunk at this point. The fact that we're so wasted, we probably shouldn't be getting into challenges and fights, right? And a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Yeah. Finish this. Oswald, you gutless Irish swine! So I wonder if we have other Vikings operating in the area, because he looks like a Viking, right? So is it like other from Denmark and other Vikings we have to fight? I wonder if we'll... This encounter with Ruid differ from our previous fight with him? Uh, so he's got his point, shirt off, that's how it differs. Wolf, so it's just him. And so he, he's angry at this point. And so he so what do you think so far, Tom? Is she excited about this one? Abilities, like, I mean, I'll play it. Fight. But um, I've so not seen something that makes me go, like, maybe go, the, sorry, that makes me go like, ooh, wow, I can't, can't wait to try this out. 
So far, I've just seen like tweaks of the current system in a new here. environment. Um, I, it's I mean, like, yeah, they haven't so shown any stuff. Like, you know me, I like my stealth stuff. They haven't even shown any gameplay yet for stealth in this demo so far. It's like this. If you liked Origins and you liked Odyssey, you're probably going to like this. Oh, if, yeah, for sure. If, if you yeah, didn't I'm, like I'm, Origins and you didn't like Odyssey, and of course, this ain't going to change your mind on this one, to go right? Him, but there's Where other RPGs coming out, because this release is the same play. month as Cyberpunk. Um, and Cyberpunk might draw the more people like, I just want to see what that's like. Does that make sense? Where people are going to know what this is like. Yeah, not to mention Cyberpunk has some pretty decent hype behind it. As for this, I just believe it will be like the next Assassin's Creed game. People want to buy it because it's Assassin's Creed. They'll be the fans. They'll be whatever. The ones who want to try it. Cool. But Cyberpunk's got some big, big hype behind it. I wish, I wish though that someone would do a comparison. Like, I'd love it to say this is PC captured, right? And this is Xbox One Series. I know Digital Foundry does their stuff when all this comes out. But it just makes me go. Mm, you know, can yeah, I please? So Finner Finner is probably one of the more recurring characters. Can I please Sorry, like get, to get a comparison from the developer, right? Like, why am I buying uh, the PC of, version? But I know they'll never do that. But sort of I'm interested to see the differences. Going through all these adventures together is sort of like uh, lights that fire back, and so he's he's willing to join you in your raiders. Um, so he's one of many raiders that you'll you'll encounter in the game, and you can sort of recruit, bring back home, and then have them sort of join you on your adventures on the on long ship. He can tell you these stories. I wonder how many crew members you can have. I wonder if it's going to be like Odyssey, we have four, or you can build a much more ragtag because there's only about 10 or 12 guys on that ship. Like, you could do all of them, you know what I mean? Hmm. I have a feeling it's going to be a couple, well, folks, but... we've come to the end of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. Fizz, thank you so much for joining us. When and where can people play it? Assassin's so I'm Creed excited. Valhalla will be out on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, and is coming to so Xbox didn't show any stealth One, in the end. PlayStation 4, oh, man. PC, and Stadia on November 17th. November 17th. So thank you guys for checking out this Cyber Squad video. We'll be doing more of these in the November future. 17th. Until then, catch you later.